I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. As soon as his lawyers realized these documents were there, they did the right thing and immediately turned them over to the archives. My Corvette's in a locked garage, okay? So it's not like you're sitting out in the street. Boy, just some of the excuses we've heard from Joe Biden and the White House after aides to Biden admitted he illegally stashed away highly classified documents for years after leaving Obama's White House. Biden's excuses have ranged from pleading total ignorance to saying that he is fully cooperating. Is that a legal excuse that would work for the rest of us? Let's discuss with Harmy Dillon, founder and CEO of the Center for American Liberty and former Trump 2020 advisory board member, also running for RNC chair. Harmy, great to see you. Uh, Biden says he didn't know the documents existed, and even if he did, it doesn't matter because he's fully cooperating, you know. Would that defense work for you and me or, let's say, President Trump? Well, not at all. In fact, some liberal lawyers in the intelligence space have said that such behavior would cause their clients to lose their security clearances. So it's not a legal defense. And in fact, the former vice president, current president, doesn't have the same legal defenses as President Trump does. President Trump is the former president. He had the right to declassify documents. He had the absolute authority to do that. And he also had a period of time after leaving office where he had the right under statute and the Presidential Records Act to sort through and analyze his documents. He was in the process of doing that when the United States Department of Justice and FBI swooped in and, and uh, invaded his home, rifled through his wife's lingerie drawer. Now, in this instance where the former vice president has no such defenses, I don't see any such level of concern on the part of the FBI and the Department of Justice. I don't see them raiding the former vice president's home, the current president's home, his residences, his multiple luxury villas that he's occupied over the course of the last several years. And worse, there are foreign actors who've had access to the buildings in question. In fact, um, we're talking mm -hmm. about some documents that mention the Ukraine and the very think tank itself that is the original source of these documents being found is heavily funded by the Chinese, Chinese sources. And so uh, there's a Chinese operative who's had keys to these, uh, to, to that first office. And so with all of these in place, no. I would think that there should be extreme concern on the part of the security services, and yet there seems to be virtually none. You mentioned uh, security clearances. This kind of behavior would be enough to get people's security clearances revoked. Question, do you think that Joe Biden, given how clearly, and, and this, is, this is not in dispute, how he has so recklessly handled classified information that Americans can trust him to handle our nation's secrets? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, this episode doesn't change my opinion of that. I have thought from the get-go that he had no business being in the White House because of the multiple instances over the years of his compromising the United States by allowing his son to use uh, the the vice president's plane to travel to meet with foreign parties, uh, the whole debacle of this Ukraine Burisma investment, his son selling access to his family name, his brother selling access to his family name. The Biden family is entirely beholden to foreign oligarchs, plutocrats, and dictators. And this concerns me greatly, and he never should be in the White House. And the fact that this is sort of a shrug by the DOJ. I want to add, though, that, that our intelligence services have been aware of this transgression for months since before the November election. Yes. And they covered it up and they hid it. And if it hadn't been for us winning in, in, in Congress and subpoenas coming down the pike, True. we wouldn't know about it right now. There's a lot we don't know about in our government. I really hope that, that the new Congress exposes every such one of these transgressions. Well, we'll see. Can't, can't rely on Senate Republicans. Maybe the House can help us out. Look, uh, I've only got 60 seconds left. I just want you to say uh, to, to the folks out there, the legal exposure, if, if we had a legitimate FBI that believed in treating everybody equal treatment of the law, if we had a Department of Justice that wasn't hopelessly compromised and, and deferential, and many people are saying that, that, that trying to wrap up Hunter Biden into an investigation, trying to wrap up Joe Biden is going to protect them from being investigated from the House because they'll be able to say, oh, we're under current investigation. And at the end of the day, they'll be able to thwart the Republicans in the House. 
and stop their real investigations while they give a, sh a shadow or a sham investigation in the DOJ. So let me just ask you, if Joe Biden and the Democrat Party weren't being protected by establishment Washington right now, what types of charges could Mr. Biden expect to receive if we had a fair system? Well, there are some statute of limitations issues that apply to some of these charges if they were valid. So the question is going to include when did the vice president really know about these issues? And these documents were not just moved one time, like the Mar-a-Lago documents. They've been moved several times. They're found in multiple locations. But the most important question here is going to be, was there foreign access to these documents? Because if so, a longer 10-year statute of limitations applies to that, and that could be very serious. So you could do a serious investigation into this without necessarily involving James Biden or Hunter Biden, but just focus on the former vice president, current president, and, and what he did and when he did it and who had access. Th those themselves are serious mm -hmm. questions, and they could lead to criminal penalties. Yep. Full damage assessment needs to be done, but the, hey, they let Hillary Clinton skate on a full damage assessment. We expect this crooked government to do the same for Joe Biden. Harmeet Dillon, thank you very much. We appreciate your time as always.